So what's the penalty for standing there? It's a fine. $100. Okay, that's it's sports, a hundred dollars. Because if you don't pay the fine, you have to go to protesting. If you don't pay the fine, what happens? Well, to you? that that's you're saying that. I'm not saying that. I, well, you may not. No, you may be in denial. It. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. Alderman Long, are you one of the proponents, well, uh, State Rep Long, I guess I should say, are you one of the proponents of this uh, uh, buffer zone bill? I am. Uh, how do you reconcile that with the New Hampshire Constitution's right to free speech and freedom of assembly in public? Well, the issue I have is residents calling me and telling me, well, what, what about their rights? What about their rights to not have to go and walk in the street, to, you know, because they're taking up the, uh, the, as you know, they rent a uh, tenement across the street. And they're in that street on that side, uh -huh. on a sidewalk, which is a narrower sidewalk. Uh, so I, I think it's a balance of both rights. You know, one one well, right does doesn't have doesn't, a right not one to, right doesn't circumvent the other. Right. Does a person not have a right not to have protesters in in public? No, that's not no, that's not what I'm saying. What, what but I'm that's saying where they is, are. They're in public. They'd be taking them out of a public yeah, right of way. They are, but they they have a right to uh, go. Well, first of all, the the residents have a right to use their sidewalk whatever they want and not be blocked. By yeah, them. which is the, the other same. the other. The, the, Patients that are going there have a right to go into some place without being walked in front of. And, Wait, you have uh, a right to not be walked in front of? Yeah, you, you have a right to walk on a sidewalk. Well, I mean, I'm, in, I'm in front of you now. And yeah, I but mean, I'm not I walking, because I, if I was walking and you walked in front of me, that would be an issue. Wait, was I there, walked up is there a law that says you can't stand in front of somebody? Well, there's a law, there's an ordinance in Manchester that says you can't obstruct people's, uh, uh, you know, walking public. Side yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a little bit different from speech, you know, but still, I mean... I well, so that's that's the issue there. That's the issue there. People have a right to go, you know, if if there's protesters at, let's say, Citizens Bank, uh -huh. I have a right to walk into Citizens Bank without these people walking in front of me, stopping me, and engaging in conversation. Well, if, but, but the thing is, this doesn't just ban that. This bans people from being in that spot with the sign, doesn't it? This, this bans them from a... Uh, yeah, it's a, it's, there's a buffer zone. That's they the thing, have it, it, free it punishes, access. It, it punishes both the people who are guilty of standing in front of someone, which is not exactly a crime, and the people well, who aren't. Punish, it doesn't punish anybody. It balances between well, a person's if, right to go and use that facility. Well, what's going to happen to me if I go in there and stand there and I've got a sign on that says anything political and, I have, you know, and I'm just standing there? They're going to use force on me, aren't they? The authorities. Uh, I, I don't know if they're going to use force on you. You're bringing up the force. I, you know. Uh, well, how can you have a law that's anywhere, not backed by force? I didn't, well, I didn't <laughs> so, see anywhere in a bill where there's force involved here. So what's the penalty for standing there? It's a fine. $100, okay, that's it's force. A because fine. if you don't pay if the fine, you have to go to... protesting... If you don't pay the fine, what happens Well, that, that's... You're saying that. I'm not saying that. I, well, you may, not, no, you may be in denial. I'm saying, so. a, I'm saying there's a balance between both sides. There's a balance of people have a right to go into that facility, and there's a balance with people having a right to uh, their free speech. Now, All right. you, now, in the free speech, when you when you look up public protest, it's, there's, you know, the uh, court has deemed, the Supreme Court has deemed that there's a difference. Uh, there's a free speech right. However, there's not a, there's, you know, that free speech doesn't include stopping people engaging in conversation with people that don't want to have a conversation with you. So that's that's the issue here. Well, as always, I appreciate you at least okay. answering my questions. Okay. All right. Thanks, Mr. Long. See you out there. No, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.